Good evening, students. Um, this evening, I thought it would be fun to revisit our book of Irish fairy and folk tales, and in particular, read another fairy tales because I do like them quite a bit. So I'm going to flip to the index real quick here and pick one that I think sounds a little bit fun. Mm. All right, turn to page 16. And this is the story of, oh, it is a lyrical one. So this could be fun. This is The Fairy Well of Lagnane by Samuel Ferguson. I've never actually read something quite like this aloud before, so bear with me. <clears throat> mournfully sing mournfully. Oh, listen, Ellen, sister dear. Is there no help at all for me, but only ceaseless sigh and tear? Why do not he who left me here with stolen hope steal memory? Oh, listen, Ellen, sister dear. Mournfully sing mournfully. I'll go away to Sleamish Hill, I'll pluck the fairy hawthorn tree, and let the spirits work their will, I care not if for good or ill. So they but lay the memory, which all my heart is haunting still. Mournfully sing mournfully. The fairies are a silent race, and pale as lily flowers to see. I care not for a blanched face, for wandering in a dreaming place. So I but banish memory, I wish I were with Anna Grace. Mournfully, sing mournfully. Hearken to my tale of woe. Twas thus to weeping Ellen Conn, her sister said in accents low, her only sister, Una Braun. Twas in their bed before the dawn. And Ellen answered sad and slow, O oh, Una, Una, be not drawn. Hearken to my tale of woe, to this unholy grief I pray, which makes me sick at heart to know. And I will help you if I may, the fairy well of Lagnane. Lie near me, I tremble so, Una, I've heard wise women say, hearken to my tale of woe, that if before the dews arise, true maiden in its icy flow, with pure hand bathe her bosom thrice, three lady brackens pluck likewise, and three times round the fountain go, she straight forgets her tears and sighs, hearken to my tale of woe. All alas and well away, O oh, sister Ellen, sweet, sister sweet, Come with me to the hill, I pray, and I will prove that blessed freet, they rose with soft and silent feet. They led their mother where she lay, their mother and her care discreet, all alas and well away. And soon they reached the fairy well, the mountain's eye clear, cold, and gray, wide open in the dreary fell. How long they stood, twere vain to tell. At last upon the point of day, Bon Una bears her bosom swell, all alas and well away. Thrice o'er her shrinking breast she laves, the gliding glance that will not stay, of subtly streaming fairy waves, and now the charm three brackens craves. She plucks them in their fringed array. Now round the well her fate she braves, all alas, and well away. Save us all from fairy thrall, Ellen sees her face the rim, twice and thrice and that is all, fount into hill and maiden swim, all together melting dim. Una, Una, thou mayst call, sister sad, but lith or limb, save us all from fairy thrall, never again of Una Bon, where now she walks in dreamy hall, shall I of mortal look upon, oh, can it be the guard was gone? The better guard than shield or wall, who knows on earth save Jerlug Dawn, save us all from fairy, from fairy thrall. Behold the banks are green and bare, no pit is here wherein to fall. Ay, at the fount you well may stare, but not save pebbles smooth as there. And small straws twirling one and all, hide thee home, and be thy prayer. Save us all from fairy thrall. All right, that was that. Uh, interesting, and it just kind of goes to show. Uh, my takeaway from that is... That's just a bit of a fun little story from Irish folklore, and it shows how much as a culture they respected the fairies and the idea 
of the good people. And even to this day, it's not so archaic, but if you ever visit Ireland um, and you just go mix yourself into the culture, you'll still hear talk of the good people, the fairies, and you'll see just how mashed up they are in their culture and the reverence with which they're still held um, like a good superstition. And I think we still have superstitions uh, over here in America, in our society. Black cat, the number seven, uh, repeating threes, things like that. that. You know, we may not admit that we do or don't, but still pay a bit of reverence to. And that's all for this evening. I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for bearing with me. I rarely ever read lays aloud like that. So... That's all. All right. Stay happy, stay healthy, and that's all I got for you tonight. Goodbye, students.